The reward is growing for information to help solve a string of murders in Florida. Four people have been killed in Tampa's Seminole Heights neighborhood over the last month. The latest victim, 60-year-old Robert Felton, was fatally shot last week while crossing the street to a church where he volunteered feeding the homeless. The community holding a food drive in his honor. Neighbors are understandably on edge as investigators search for a possible serial killer. Most of us live in the smack dab in the middle of, of all of the murders. So, I mean, uh, it's possible he may be one of our neighbors. He probably walks down the street multiple times a day. Uh, I'm sure some of us have seen him before. It just um, try not to think about that part of it and just try to remember that, uh, you know, TPD is doing what they can and we got to do what we can uh, as a neighborhood and as, uh, as citizens of Tampa and, and uh, you know, just keep doing what we're doing, keep living our lives. Brian Yenis joins me on set with more. Uh, it seems on, on, it doesn't, doesn't seem like we need to call him a potential serial killer or call this person right. a possible serial killer. Right. It seems like he is a serial killer. Right. They, they, they believe these four unsolved murders, they have one suspect. Two dozen detectives are on this case, more than 2,300 tips since that first murder took place on October 9th. And yet the best lead they have is surveillance video. This new surveillance video was taken Tuesday, minutes before 60-year-old Ronald Felton was gunned down from behind. Investigators hope someone can identify the suspect's walk or mannerisms. The video is significant because it shows the same person who was caught on this surveillance video on October 9th, the night of the first murder. Initially, police weren't sure if this person was a suspect. They called him a person of interest. Well, now the same individual has been spotted at two of the four murders. He's now a suspect. Police continue to patrol, interview neighbors because they believe the suspect lives in the same neighborhood he's killed his victims in. Seminole Heights in Tampa. Now, all four victims appear to be random. 60-year-old Felton was a church and food bank volunteer. His sister says she warned him about traveling in Seminole Heights given the murders. All he was doing was helping the homeless. He wasn't hurting nobody. He wasn't doing anything to nobody. What's your first name? And they took his life. You know, and his life to me, to everybody else, might not mean nothing, but to me, that's my blood. Incredibly difficult to watch that. A hundred thousand dollar reward now being offered. That's just chilling that she warned him and then he wound yeah. up dead. Yeah. Uh, and Brian, the Tampa mayor spoke today. Mayor Bob, Bob, Bob Buckhorn is reassuring residents, given the fact that, look, we talked about this, Rick, this neighborhood is under increased security and patrols and yet a fourth murder under their watch. This is what the mayor said today. We're standing in solidarity with them and I want them to know that we're not going anywhere. I mean, we're in this foxhole till we catch this guy. Uh, we're, we're not quitting. We're not letting up. We're going to put the pressure on. We're going to squeeze everywhere we have to squeeze. And, and sooner or later, this person's going to make a mistake, and we're going to be there to catch him. Three of the four murders took place within a half mile of one another, and at night, the victims don't appear to have any connection to one another, varying in age from 20 to 60. Again, uh, we'll see what happens, but more patrols are given, and, and no doubt, and they just want anybody to call if they recognize that guy in the video. If, if they think he lives in that neighborhood. Right. And there are people there living in fear who might know who this guy is. You would think that somebody's going to come forward right. at some point, hopefully soon. Right. And hopefully the increased reward will help them get there. Yeah, $100,000. Brian, thanks very much. Thanks.